Hi everybody, welcome back to Green Sprout Living. I'm Nikki and today we're gonna to be talking about my favorite winter squash and that's butternut squash. I use butternut squash in a ton of my recipes. And so the first thing that I wanna talk about is when, knowing when to harvest your butternut squash. Obviously I've already harvested these. I have a few more um, that are out there that I'm going to harvest, but I can kind of walk you through what I did. So you know that your butternut squash is ready whenever the outside skin is hard um, and you can't really, and you can't pierce it with your fingernail. I am sometimes um, at the spur of the moment and don't have my snips with me. And a big mistake is you try to break it off the vine and then you end up with something like this that doesn't have a stem. This is a product of pulling it off the vine instead of snipping it off like this. You do want to have um, around a one inch stem if you're going to store it uh, just like this for winter. And these will store just like this in a cool, dark place. Um, I had one that I actually had last year and I left it on the countertop all winter long and it was still good. So um, I do both. I, I put them in cold storage and I also can them. I like to have the convenience of having it already cooked um, and canned because I make cheese sauce with it and my recipes call for one pint of cooked butternut squash. So I am able to just open the can up and I don't have to worry about peeling it and cutting it and boiling it and everything. But I also like to have it in cold storage because one of my favorite recipes is roasted butternut squash. So I like to have the options of both ways. So when you are storing it in um, your cold storage or storing it just like this, one thing that you need to do is you need to wipe it down. So there is actually living little critters on the outside of this. And if you don't wipe it down, then it will rot faster. Um, a lot of places that I have read and researched say to use a bleach mixture. I don't use bleach, but you can also uh, use white distilled vinegar. So that's what I do is I wipe it down with white distilled vinegar, make sure it's good and dry, and then I put it into a cold storage. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate all these, the ones that do not have the tops, cause I did pull a few of them off. Those are the ones that I'm going to can. And this one here is not a full inch, but it, it will be okay. You also want to inspect and see if there is any uh, spots on the butternut squash that are starting to turn. If there is, those are a good candidate for um, canning as well. I have four here that have the tops off. So these are for sure ones that I'm going to cut up and I'm going to can. Uh, I'm gonna see how much I have if I have a full batch in the canner. If not, then I'll probably use one of these to make a full batch. So there's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, there's 13 um, that I'm going to use and put in cold storage. I do have probably another 10 that's on the vine. I'm gonna let them ripen up and see how they do. And then on the next batch, I'll probably do a lot more canned and leave these for cold storage. Cause I do use a lot of the canned, probably more than I do the ones out of the cold storage, so. Okay, so as far as canning butternut squash, it's a pretty simple method. Um, basically, all I do is I wash the outside of the squash and I peel it. Then I take the seeds out and cut it into one inch squares, boil it in water, put it in your hot jars, and then it pressurizes for 55 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on these and getting them cleaned up and peeled. As far as the recipe that I follow, there's several different ones online, I'm sure. I have the ball canning recipe, but for most of the basic things, I actually have this little bitty quick reference guide it, that came with my Presto canner. And they have a lot of the basic vegetables and things like that in there. So I just follow this, that recipe. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start rinsing these off and getting them cut up. Cut up. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a regular peeler and take the outside skin off of it. there's an easier way to do this. <laughs> so one other thing 
saying about the harvesting. If for some reason you have a um, killing frost coming in, you can also harvest your butternut squash early and it will continue to ripen. You may not necessarily have the flavor of a ripened on the vine butternut squash, kind of like anything else, but it still will ripen off the vine. And there's the inside, oh, so pretty. So there's the inside of your butternut squash. You're gonna take these seeds out and then cut this into one inch squares. And I find what works best is just a t regular teaspoon. And all of this goes into the compost pile. Okay, so I'm cutting them into about one inch cubes or roughly close to the same size. I'm gonna get all of these cut up and then I'll show you how I prepare all the jars and get it ready to go. Okay, so I have about a four quart bowl here. Um, the directions say you're supposed to uh, lightly pack them in the jars. So I'm thinking that I'll probably have enough for a canner load. I'm gonna take these over to the stove and get them in boiling water. All right, so I have my butternut squash in here getting ready to boil. Um, I have my canner with three quarts of water in it getting ready. Um, I have my jars that I have washed and I'm going to put back into the canner um, so that they can be heating up while the butternut squash is boiling. So while all of this is working, I'm going to go back over to my butternut squash. I'm gonna show you how I prepare them for the cold storage. Um, I'm going to wipe all of these down. I've already rinsed them and dried them. So I am going to use white, just plain white distilled vinegar. I'm going to take a clean uh, towel and wipe them down real good and dry them off. The reason you do this is because there is bacteria. You can rinse it, rinse it, rinse it, but you need to kill the bacteria and the mold spores on the outside of the rind. So that way it will store longer on your shelf. So if not, it's going to rot quicker and you're going to lose your harvest. So I'm going to get... So with further inspection on this one here, it already has a little bit of damage. So I'm going to set this one aside and eat this one first. So if I leave that in the storage, it's going to keep getting worse and worse. So we're going to put this one aside and that will be one of the first ones that I roast. 
and it's good to inspect your cold storage every so often, just like your potatoes and your onions and all of the things that you put in, into storage like that. It's good to inspect them and make sure that there's nothing getting to them and um, that they're not getting, um, that they're not rotting. Okay, so my canner has vented for 10 minutes. The jars inside are hot. I'm gonna bring this up to pressure to 11, and then I'm gonna time it for 55 minutes. After that, I'm gonna let it come down on its own and then remove the jars. Okay guys, so I have my butternut squash prepared to go into storage. I have my jars in the canner and they are canning. I'm gonna leave it here for now and then I'm gonna come back tomorrow and I'm gonna share four recipes, two with a canned uh, butternut squash and two with the cold storage squash. So um, I will see you back here tomorrow.